Greetings and welcome aboard United States Coast Guard Cutter Monroe on Coast Guard Island in Alameda, California. My name is Ensign Joseph Rodriguez from Atlanta, Georgia, and I am the Gunnery Officer and Public Affairs Officer on board Cutter Monroe. Monroe is a Coast Guard Legend Class National Security Cutter commissioned on April 1st, 2017. It features an overall length of 418 feet with over 140 crew members. Today I'll be taking a tour around Monroe to see the ship and talk to some crew members. Since I'm the gunnery officer, let's start with the weapon systems. My name is Ian 2 Isaiah Kirtner. I'm from Riverside, California, and I'm a gunner's mate here on board Cutter Monroe. Uh, right behind me is our main gun for the ship. It is the Bofors Mark 110. It's a 57 millimeter gun that features a fire rate of 220 rounds per minute. Cutter Monroe also features cruiser weapons. We have 50 cows and 240s. And we also keep uh, track of qualifications for sidearms, shotguns, and rifles here on board Cutter Monroe. This is Monroe's close in weapon system, which is capable of firing 20 millimeter rounds at 4,500 rounds per minute. Those are Monroe's big guns. Next, we're going to head over to the bridge. Let's go. Hello, my name is uh, Felix Ronquillo. I'm from Louisiana, New Orleans area, and I'm a Chief Petty Officer and underway OD on board Coast Guard Cutter Monroe. Our bridge team consists of an underway OD, who safely navigates the ship, a quartermaster uh, of the watch who monitors the room's position and makes recommendations to the OD. We also have two lookouts, which one of man the helm and who takes commands from the OD and steers the ship. On our last patrol, we participated in the Rim of the Pacific multinational exercise conducting evolutions such as fueling at sea, formation steaming, and we met up with the uh, Coast Guard Cutter, Douglas Monroe, in 0378. Alright, that's our bridge and our bridge team when we're underway. Let's head down to the Combat Information Center. Whoa, sir, you can't come in here. This is a secured space. My name is Alyssa and Jessica LaRue, and I'm from Texas. Uh, this is the Combat Information Center on board Monroe, where we are in charge of all the operations that we conduct with our helicopters, our small boats, and our drones. Um, that's pretty much it. Can't let you inside though, it's classified. That's our Combat Information Center. Now that we know who drives the ship and who runs operations, let's go see who runs the engineering spaces. here on Coast Guard Cutter Monroe. Welcome to the Engineering Control Room, better known as ECR. Here at ECR, we can start, secure, and realign all main machinery and power-driven equipment. Come on, let me show you the gas turbine down in our forward main machinery room. This is our forward main machinery room, better known as FMR. Behind me is our main gas turbine. Our gas turbine operates at 29,500 horsepower, which allows Monroe to reach cruising speeds of over 25 knots. Let's go check out the galley. Hey guys, this is CS3 Reyes. I'm from Ocala, Florida. I'm a culinary specialist here on the Coast Guard Cutter and Row. Uh, on board, we take care of about 140 crew members. We cook four meals a day. That's breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dinner rats for our overnight watch standers. Uh, we also maintain the boards room for our officers on board and the chief's mess for our chief petty officers along with the mess deck for our enlisted crew. Let's head up to the flight deck to hear about Monroe's flight operations. Hi, I'm Ethan Felton from Pennsylvania and I'm one of the landing signals 
officers on Monroe. LSOs run the flight deck during flight ops and give the helo signals that they need to position, take off, and land. My name is O3 Fisher from Florida and I'm a tie down aboard the Monroe. I work with the LSO to keep the helo secure on the deck. Let's head up to the helicopter control tower. My name is ETC Harris. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm a helicopter patrol officer on board Coast Guard Cutter Monroe. HCOs work in the tire for the shack and control flight operations. Some of the evolutions we conduct include vertical replenishment and helicopter in flight refuelings. During the rental of the Pacific exercise on our last patrol, we embarked a Navy H 60 Seahawk helicopter to serve as emergency medevac asset. Down to the small arms lobby to hear about the law enforcement mission. Hello, my name is ME1 Forrest. I'm from El Paso, Texas. I am the ME1 on board Coast Guard Cutter Monroe. We are specialized to do counter drug operations, fisheries boardings, and recreational boarding safety. We are capable of launching two small boats from the stern of the ship and one small boat from the starboard side. Good afternoon, I'm Lieutenant Sam Williams, a certified boarding officer on board Coast Guard Cutter Monroe. Uh, probably most well known for the self-propelled semi-submersible boarding with the Alto Subarco. Alto Subarco, Alto Subarco, Alto Subarco! Uh, we spent 185 days away from home for a year and do some really challenging things. Uh, but they're also really cool opportunities. We're going to head up to the Command p and hear from the Commanding Officer of Coast Guard Cutter Monroe. Hello, my name is Captain Blake Novak and I'm the commanding officer of Coast Guard Cutter Monroe. I'm sorry that you were all unable to visit Monroe or a national security cutter this year during Fleet Week 2020 due to the global pandemic. However, I'm glad you've taken the time to watch this video and hear about Coast Guard missions and the vital role that Monroe plays in protecting our nation. Thank you all for joining. All those going ashore, way ashore.